Good afternoon, Pastor David. Hey, John. Welcome, everybody, to A Random Moment with Pastor David Unfiltered. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and and uh, happy Thursday, right? Oh, yeah, I'm very happy. <laughs> you know, Pastor, as we were speaking earlier uh, about the Calvary Chapel Association and uh, Calvary Chapel Global Network, there seems to be still confusion about what's going on in between the two. Are you able to shed some light about this and and what the confusion really is about with the two going on? That's a very difficult question to answer because the answer is a little more complicated than, than one might first um, think. There may be people watching right now, John, that don't know what CCA or CGN is. CCA is, is the Calvary Chapel Association that is made up of a board that was appointed by Pastor Chuck to oversee all the Calvary Chapel ministries both in the United States and internationally. Pastor Chuck wanted to, to continue the direction of Calvary Chapel and uh, knowing that he was about to go home to be with the Lord, Chuck had appointed a board of uh, a number of men to oversee the uh, the ministry of Calvary Chapel. It's not that we are the um, the ones who who how do I put it? It's not that we have some form of authority to um, act as like a denominational council, but rather we were simply placed in a position to be there to help people to become associated as Calvary Chapels or to deal when requested with problems that may be found in a Calvary Chapel. And um, when, need, when needed, we would be the ones who had the authority to request that people no longer call themselves by that name. And so Chuck had uh, a board of several men um, that, he, that he determined he had prayed about and sought the Lord for. And, and uh, so it originally had expanded somehow. I'm not sure how that happened into a group larger than the one that Pastor Chuck had initially um, named and so what happens is um, after Chuck goes home to be with the Lord there were differences in direction and vision and philosophy and and one of the brothers Brian Brian Broderson uh, decided that he felt that it was right that he move in a direction that was consistent with how the Holy Spirit works in him and then there were others including myself who decided to remain in the direction that we had grown up in, learned, and, and had been practicing for 40-some years. And so Global Network is led by Pastor Brian and numbers of people that he's placed in that position. The Global uh, Network is, is not the same as the Calvary Chapel Association. The Calvary Chapel Association has a board of uh, about 11 or 12 of us. I'm part of that board. And uh, our responsibility is to just do the things I mentioned earlier, is to oversee and to enter into disputes or be of help when, when asked and all. And that's basically it. I, I don't know the vision of the global network. I don't know how it's spelt out. I've never really been interested in it. Brian is still somebody that I love and all. I don't have a, any dispute with him or the the men who have chosen to follow the vision that he has. I just remained uh, faithful to what I'd been taught by my pastor, Chuck Smith. And so the Calvary Chapel Association and the Global Network are not the same in terms of our directions. I know the direction that we go because it's the direction I've been going for over 40 years. I'm not, sh I'm not sure what the Global Network is doing or going, uh, what direction they may be going in, but it, it isn't the same as 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 what we are doing it there are differences and all and um you know that's basically it john right. is there <clears throat> and of course there's a rife conflict because of this there's uh has been almost a fierce division over this and what people's ideas are and people's thinking they are and and as you mentioned is that you're doing the vision that you have been given and the doing what you have been called to do. I think that people who, 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 and there have been some, who have, have, had been have been divided. There's no doubt about that. There 
have been some, but I, I, I don't know what, I don't know why. Uh, I, you know, Pastor Chuck used to say it like this. He said, and people may not know this about him, so, but I'll quote him. Don't go away mad, just go away. Pastor Chuck wanted us to have unity of spirit and direction and all, and he wanted us to, to move in the direction the Holy Spirit had led us as Calvary Chapel pastors go. That's basically all he wanted us to do. And there are those who, for some reason, feel that they need to take it in a new direction. Well, in taking it in their new direction, they're, they're creating something new. So rather than referring to it as Calvary Chapel, they may want to call it Calvary. They may want to call it whatever. I mean some other name. Because it's not what it, what it was with us over all of these years. It's not that. It's something different. And the ones who are who are most insistent that things are things are there are problems are the ones who have no idea what they're talking about. To be honest with you, they've never been in any of the meetings. They never were any in any of the uh, things that related to the the movement that that we have been involved in and Brian has chosen to, they've, they've never been in any of those. They basically are just adding their two cents when, when they're speaking uh, with a lack of information. And so I, I, I don't have a personal problem with any of those guys. I, you know, they're my brothers in the Lord. They're going in a different direction and, and we're going in the direction that we know the Spirit has led us in. And so I, I think that it's unfortunate that there are those who keep adding their two cents and keep stirring the pot. Uh, I, I think it really could have been better handled, we'll say at the beginning, if we'd have just agreed to disagree and to move in whatever direction God led us to. Because I believe very strongly in the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace, and we could have retained that and maintained that had we taken into consideration how others are going to act and what they're going to say. and and the things over time that have been have been uh, communicated. But bottom line is, you know, I just kept my hand on the plow. I'm just working the same field. I'm using the tools that, that I've been using now for many years. Uh, my roots are solidly Calvary Chapel. They're, the way I teach and the things that I believe, they're Calvary Chapel, you know, and uh, and uh, others have their ideas, and I think that they ought to just admit to the fact that they're different and move off in a different direction. I think that would probably be a good idea. Well, thank you, Pastor, for uh, shedding some clarity on, on that, because there is some confusion, and people are, you know, what's the movement, the, the association, what's Global Network doing, and and it's caused some conflict and division, and and oftentimes, often here, well, we're serving the same God. We're serving oh, the yeah, same, yeah. and we're still brothers in the Lord, as you pointed mm -hmm. out. And so it goes beyond that in a lot of ways. But there has been confusion, and I, and I appreciate you. Being I think able that the, I think of it. If I may, one last thought. I, I think of it kind of like this, you know, and this may provoke some people. Um, I served in the army. We have the Marine Corps. We have the Air Force. You know, we have the Navy. Every one of the branches of service are, are representative of the United States. And so as a, as a soldier, uh, I have always and, and do appreciate every branch because every branch has a necessary thing that it does. There's no division in my heart with the military, John. I, I regard the Marine or I regard the Naval guy or the Air Force or Coast Guard, whatever. I, I regard them as a necessary part in our entire armed forces. But if somebody wants to sit down and say, well, we're the better or we're more necessary, that's where the, that's where the conflict comes in. I, I, I am I'm Calvary Chapel. Uh, the only thing I know is Calvary Chapel. It's not a denomination, though. It's a philosophy. It's a, it's a way of ministry, and it's a way of thinking. Others want to say, well, I'm of this. Well, you know, God bless you. You know, do as God calls you. Do those things, but let's not compare. Let's not create a division, and and let's not like right now. Somebody maybe I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking. Well, frankly, if you've never been in one of the meetings, just don't do that. You have no idea what you're talking about, none at all. So keep it to yourself, or find a group of people that you can talk to about it. But don't talk to us about it because you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know. All I know is this: is ultimately. We're going to join hands in heaven. We should love one another on earth, and it's all going to be fine Amen. at the end. Amen. 
Well, thank you, Pastor, and thank you so much for clarifying. And hope you guys enjoyed this because there are a lot of questions and there is a lot of comparisons and they're doing this and they're doing that. Well, it's important that we just keep our eyes on what God's called. Keep your hand on the plow and just, just do your work. Amen. Well, thank you, Pastor David. Thank you guys for tuning in. Do want to invite you to our Sunday services at 830 and 1045. And this week, Pastor, you're teaching on... The parable of the fig tree. And you're also implementing Ezekiel 37. 37. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's going to be good. It could be. <laughs> uh, come on out, you guys, and come join us again. I, I keep bringing this up. COVID restrictions I've lifted. Come join us in worship. Amen. Come join us in the Word of God. Uh, even our Wednesday nights have been so fruitful as you're taking us I'm through the armor them. of God. I'm enjoying them. And if you guys didn't hear last night's study, uh, you can go to Facebook or YouTube and, and watch that. But we look forward to having you guys come out. And then again, I'm always keeping this in front of you guys. We have an Israel trip coming up in March. Uh, you still have time to register. And as we're getting closer to those last days, or in those last days, it's amazing to go and see where a lot of this is going to take place. Amen. And so I want to invite you guys to come out and join Pastor David and Marie for this Israel trip. You can go to calvaryccv.org and register. But again, we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Pastor David, thank you so much. Thank you guys for tuning in, and God bless you. Amen.